messing with me over here. Really? They went, are, we're ready. And I said, oh, okay. okay. And I counted to three and they went, they did. They did. I didn't hear a thing. Well, that's because we had two that have much stronger voices. Oh. Because they're excited. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Hey, you oh. know, today's Father's Day. It is. Yeah. So what have you been doing this week? Well, I got that card. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That's it. So what are you guys doing for Father's Day? You don't know. They haven't been told no. that. Jury's not out. Yeah. They haven't, they haven't been told that. Yeah. Jury's still out. They probably yeah. just hug their dads really hard. Uh, I probably need a stamp for the card. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Today's the day. Okay. So. Well, what? So is a card enough? Well, that's what I was just going to ask you. So. Um, I I don't know. What are you getting at? What, well, what would my. What do you want to do? What would make a father happy? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, I can give you some scriptures too. Okay. I brought my Bible. Oh good. Good. Um, do you know the fifth commandment? Well, uh, I think it says, this is not the whole thing, but it says honor your father and mother. Okay. Both of them. And who would that make happy? Uh, well, somebody say God. I've, I've got a problem here. I, you do? I have more than one father. Okay. I think it says, I think my father in heaven is. And what about my father on earth? You know what? You are ready two to, of them. Right. Do you want to read some more scripture for me? Okay. Okay. How about Proverbs 23, 24? 23, 24. All right. Uh, it says, the father of a righteous man has great joy. He who has a wise son delights in him. Well, I'm not a man yet. And how can I become wise? Well, by first fearing the Lord. Oh, well, I remember that. That comes from Proverbs, too. That's right. That's the first thing you got to do. Yep. Yeah. Does Proverbs have any wisdom? <laughs> Absolutely. Do you know who wrote Proverbs? No. I, I do. You do? Yeah. Who? Well, God inspired Solomon uh, to write most of it. Okay. And, and that's correct. And why did Solomon write it? Look, don't know that <laughs> one. <laughs> God wants his people to be successful. Oh, you mean working very hard and making lots of money and, and having lots of fame? No. No? No. God used success as having a good reputation, right? Okay. You know what a reputation is, right? Uh, maybe. Okay. Maybe? Yeah. How people see you? Oh. Okay. Okay. And having good moral character. Right. You know what that means? Uh. No. No? Okay. Moral. You know what moral means? Uh. Come on, Rick, you got this. Uh. No, huh? No. Okay, well let's let's go on. Okay. And we'll we'll circle back. And he wants us to have spiritual devotion to him. Oh, to obey him? Well, I do that. I want to make him happy. Well, so reading Proverbs gives us wisdom? To help us with our moral character and all that other stuff? That's right. Wow. Absolutely. And wisdom for youth. Yes. So that's me. So our kids down here and you. I'm a youth. <laughs> You're a youth. I, I feel like a youth. Does that count? Okay. Right? Yeah. <laughs> wisdom for older people. Well, so guess you, what? We're so, all youths by God. Well, that's we're right. children. That's right. But by studying and, and being wise, we'll, we'll also grow to be wiser. Really? Be a wise man. I could grow up to do that? You could. So, it's going to please both my fathers, my earthly father and my heavenly father, if I seek wisdom by studying God's word, right? Yep. It'll make parents happy. It'll make God happy. And a good place to start is Proverbs, right? Absolutely. 
Well, I've got a long way to go. Well, but you know what? what? I've started in the right direction. Oh, boy, it doesn't matter what age you are, then, either, does it? It doesn't. It doesn't. You just have to put one foot in front of the other and move forward. I've got my feet on. Excellent. <laughs> cool. So, go ahead. Oh, oh, oh yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I yes. just in case somebody didn't believe me. He doesn't always have his feet on. Y'all know that, right? Okay. <laughs> you know what time it is? Well, uh, I think we have presented the whole lesson. Oh, it's time to pray. It is. Yes. It is. Well, look, we can pray to our Heavenly Father. Absolutely. Everybody bow your heads, close your eyes. Wonderful Heavenly Father, I, I need help. And I think some of us, all of us do at times. We want to please you. I need help for that. I need to ask you for wisdom. And you're telling me it's in the Bible because you inspired Solomon to write lots of wisdom things. Stuff to help us how to talk to people, relationships, all that stuff. You're so awesome. You know every time. And we need to learn a lot of the stuff you want us to know. Well, thank you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That was awesome. And you know what? Maybe sometime in, in yeah, the future we can do an object lesson on moral care. Morals. Morals. <coughs> okay. Yeah. All right. That would be good. It's kind of like a fish in the sea. Moral fish. <laughs> Never mind. We'll see you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Ricky. <laughs>